Hey guys, it's your girl Lamira. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today I'm outside at Salvation Army in Calvina and I'm doing a thrift haul or a thrift with me of fall 2020 trends. There's already like a good amount of cars here. So I was hoping that I was going to be at an, like an empty Salvation Army, but I'm going to do it anyway because I really like this Salvation Army and I'm already here. I already drove all the way. Um, so uh, yeah. We're gonna get into it, but first let's get through the fall 2020 trends, what I'm actually gonna be looking for today. I hope I'm like in the camera. I watch it just like be in my head like cut off. Today I'm looking for Argyle, Monkey Prince, Fringe, Sweater Vest, Cowboy, Untailored Tailor, Bra Tops Under Jackets, like um, I'll put a picture here, Jewel Tones, Rust, Chartreuse, flare jeans, bell bottoms, like high-waisted bell bottoms, plaid or patchwork, uh, cardigans, leathered, leather and also colored leather, and uh, lastly, a tennis skirt. So I'm going to head on in. I'm super excited to take you guys with me on my first trip with me. I hope it goes well. Uh, luckily, this place does have shopping carts. So with that being said, let's get into it. like the model for 2020. Yeah. I like that. There's so many jeans that I don't really need jeans, but... I am 
just finding flare jeans, but I want like bell bottoms, like vintage bell bottoms. Argyle and a sweater vest. It's kind of huge, but yeah. Hey guys, as you can see, it's an entirely new day. I'm wearing different clothes, obviously. But yeah, I kind of just want to show you what I got at the thrift store in Covina yesterday. I got all of this stuff. Uh, so the first thing I got, well, let me tell you how much I spent. I spent a total of $60, I rounded up. It's like $59.94, so it's basically $60. But I got eight things. So I average about $7-ish on each piece. Well, the first one I got is just a homeware item. As you know, I moved to East LA, I got a new apartment, and looking for just things to decorate the place. One of the things I needed was one of those like spoon rests. So I got this little guy, I thought it was cute. Uh, he was just $2. That's the only homeware thing that I got. Everything else is clothes. The first thing I would like to show you guys is this plaid jacket. So as you know, one of the transfer fall 2020 is plaid. And I found this, you probably saw in the when I thrifted it. I got this plaid jacket. It kind of reminds me of like Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Um, something that, you know, uh, Will Smith would wear or even Hillary would wear, Hillary Banks, I feel like this is her vibe. Um, I really like it because of the collar, the velour collar. I like how, you'll see when I try it on, this kind of like goes in a little bit at the waist. And I also really love the details of the buttons. It makes me feel like a very like preppy vibe, which is very, very in right now. Uh, this was on sale because it was a blue tag. So it was 50% off, which is steel, I think. So it was only $5. Um, so I would definitely, you know, style this probably like black jeans. Um, I would maybe even try it with biker shorts. I feel like, you know, just wear whatever you want. But I really, really like this piece. Next, I have another plaid jacket. It's um, a little bit out there, which I really love. Of course, we have the shoulder pads. And these are in some intense shoulder pads, as you will see when I try them on. Uh, this was also on sale, blue tag, so it was only $5. Um, but I really love it because of the colorway of the plaid here. I like that it's a bit oversized on me. I love it because of the shoulder pads. Um, plus, I feel like I really want to try wearing blazers as like jackets in the fall. Uh, I don't really have that many blazers. I actually don't have any blazers at all. So this is going to be really fun to kind of style. Um, but I'm just going to try it on for you guys today. And then I'll have another video when I actually style up all of these pieces. Next is not a blazer, but it is just a little tank. I saw this and thought it was really cute. Uh, it's definitely going along with the zebra funky French trend of 2020 uh, for fall 2020. So I just picked this up because I live in California and it's still really pretty hot out. Uh, so I don't necessarily think I'll be wearing the blazers anytime soon, but this is really cute pieces kind of layer over things. With biker shorts, jeans, whatever, maybe just lounging around, to be honest. Uh, and it kind of just reminded me of the 90s. I'm actually watching a lot of girlfriends right now, so I've been getting a lot more inspired uh, by the 90s, so I really like this piece. I think this was only about $5, which is a bit overpriced, uh, just for a tank top, but unfortunately it wasn't on sale. So Next, we have another fall 2020 trend, which is the sweater vest, but also we have Argyle here. So Argyle, I feel like I had argyle growing up i did wear some argyle like long sleeve sweaters um i've never really owned a sweater vest so this is like a new venture for me um but yeah i picked this up i found this in the men's section uh, i think this was around 5.99 or maybe a couple more dollars more but the trend with this is to kind of wear it the sweater vest as a shirt and i'm just going to style this with biker shorts just to give you guys an idea what it looks like uh, but you can also layer this with like um, a collared shirt underneath, uh, like jeans and like, you know, chunky sneakers. Still yet to get my chunky sneakers, but I will one day find them at the thrift store. I refuse to buy them uh, wholesale. Uh, but yeah, so I kind of like this. It's a little bit more experimental than what I'm used to. 
Um, but I think I just want to give it a go. I feel as if like this whole channel and just like now is all about experimentation and just giving things a try. And I think thrift stores are one of the best ways to do that because you don't have to spend too much money. Um, you're not contributing to fast fashion. Um, it's just a more sustainable option. Next, we have a gray sweatshirt. Now I know in my thrift portion, uh, I don't know if I put it out yet or not, but I do kind of tend to stay away from a lot of gray. I've been trying to lean more towards colorful pieces. Um, so I wore a lot of gray growing up, but I couldn't resist this sweatshirt. It's nice and thick, and I also just love the message on it. So the message says, if you're not angry, you are not paying attention, which I think is 2020 motto, full through and through. Uh, I think it just resonates with a lot of things that are going on right now. So I kind of just wanted to pick this up and wear it. Um, so yeah, not much to say about that. It's really good quality. I don't know where it's from. It's by this company called Nanning Nine, made in Korea. But it's really good quality, nice and thick. Um, so I'll be really happy to wear this around the house. Next, second to last piece, we have this gorgeous, divine, a uh, leather jacket from Nine West, Vintage Nine West. Um, I picked this up because I'm a sucker for leather jackets. Um, but as you see, when I try it on, it's a bit long on the sleeves, which typically does tend to happen to me since I have, uh, since it looks more shorter, uh, my arms a little bit shorter, so therefore things don't necessarily always fit perfectly. Um, so this one's actually gonna be up on my Depop if you're interested. Um, I'll put my at or my store name in the description box below. Or if you want to look it up, it's Meerkat Vintage. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I really love this. It's nice, buttery, soft. Um, it's just a perfect layering piece for fall. Um, so yeah, I was just super excited to get this. I was debating between this one and another one. Uh, but I feel as if this cut is more flattering. Um, this is a more flattering cut in overall, overall in my opinion. So I love that one. Okay. So this is the last piece. I mean, it's it's a suit. It's a two-piece suit. I saw it because I was so attracted to the stitching details. It's like an iridescent detail. I'll get a little closer. It's like an iridescent detail. It's like browns, blues, and like some uh, greens in there, but it gives this like iridescent look to it. I think it's just stunning. So I was going for the untailored, tailored look for um, when I picked this up. So I mean, when you do, when I do try it on, like, you'll see that it does fit pretty well. Um, but I think the untailored, tailored trend is going on for like two piece outfits, wearing a blazer with a matching skirt or bottom. And also, you know, wearing blazers, not necessarily with tops underneath. I think that's another trend, or at least I've seen carrot Karen Britchick do it here on YouTube and also on Instagram. I'll link her information below. She's amazing. Um, but yeah, so I had to get this. I, as you can see, I really, really love it. I think two-piece outfits are going to be now something that I always look for at the thrift store. For the most part, I always always breeze over the blazers and two-piece suits. I'm like, where am I ever going to wear that? Like, no. But now, your girl. Your girl got a suit and she's gonna wear it casually. So super excited about this. But yeah, that's everything that I got. Uh, so it's kind of a bit of a small haul, but I really love all the pieces that I have. Um, I will be putting, like I said, the leather jacket on my Depop and I may put one of the plaid jackets on my Depop as well. So if you're interested, please check that out as well if you wanna snag some fall 2020 trends uh, for yourself. Um, but yeah, that's everything that I got. I really, really love it. I will be, um, having another video where I do a larger thrift haul of all the things that I thrifted for fall because there are some pieces that I've not included because I just didn't thrift them today. So um, you definitely want to stay tuned for that one. But again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really love the support uh, and I'm just happy to be here on YouTube. Again, my name is Amira and I'm Meerkat95. Thank you guys so much. Meerkat out.